Good morning, Unicorns. Time for KWSC News. I'm Maddie. And I'm Braley. And today, today is Tuesday, Tuesday, September 26, 2023. It's the 26th day of school. Let's stand for the pledges. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to the Texas, one state, under God, one and indivisible. At WSE, we reach for the stars. We are safe, respectful, and responsible. Good morning, WSC. It's Mrs. Winters with your Star Ticket Update. This week, we have a lot of you to celebrate, and I'm really proud of all the Star Tickets that you guys have earned. So let's get to it. We have five more classes to add to our 100-point board. We have, in fifth grade, Mrs. Lonsberry's class. Congratulations. Also in fifth grade, Mrs. Hadamik's class. In third grade, we have Miss Salcedo. In fourth grade, we have Mrs. Cheryl. And in kindergarten, we have Mrs. Lynch. Congratulations on earning that extra recess. And we have two more classes to add to our 200-point ticket winner. And that is going to be Mrs. Second Grade, Mrs. Rogers, and Mrs. Louie's class. Congratulations, all. Congratulations to you all. You have Hat Day coming up. Have a great week. Don't forget, you can subscribe to all the three thousand on YouTube. And now for lunch choices, birthdays, and daily jokes. This is Avery. Here's your lunch choices for today and tomorrow. Tuesday, choice one, cheesy diced chicken nachos. Choice two, juicy hamburger. Choice three, fruit and yogurt power pack with graham crackers. Wednesday, choice one, meatball soap. Choice two, breaded chicken patty sandwich. Choice three, veggie ranch wrap. Let's see what our birthdays are for today. September 25th. Happy birthday to, happy belated birthday to Olivia. Happy, happy birthday! birthday! <laughs> oh my. 26. We have no birthdays to celebrate for today. Bummer! Bummer. This is Madison, and now for the Daily Joke. Tuesday. How many college graduates does it take to change a light bulb? I don't, I don't know. know. How many college does it take to change a light bulb? Only one, but it might take four years to do it. <laughs> <laughs> now back to the studio. Here's what's happening. It's a college, college spirit week. week. Today is I Can Do Anything. Did you dress up like a superhero? And don't forget to watch today's video. What is college? Exploring what's possible after high school. Tomorrow, tomorrow will be my future is bright. And we can wear sunglasses and a hat. Don't forget, choir will be meeting tomorrow. <coughs> In other news, there will be no school Friday. It's a Comal County Fair Day. And we get a holiday so we can enjoy the fair festivities. Let's see what the weather will be like. This is Reese. And this is Miley with your weather. The high for today is 91 and the low for today is 70. It's going to be partly cloudy. Now, now back to, to the, the studio. studio. Stay tuned for Book Talk Tuesday, and have an awesome day, unicorns. Be safe, respectful, and responsible. See you next time. It's Book Talk Tuesday. This week, we're focusing on nonfiction. Let's start in the 500s, because that is the most popular section. On this shelf, we can find books about planets and stars. You can find books about science, like electricity and magnetism. How about the weather? Next door, you can find out books about landforms and rocks. This is our dinosaur shelf. You can find out about plants and soil, or what life is like in different habitats. Over here, we have books about all kinds of sea creatures and other colorful animals. The next shelf is reserved for bugs, and also jellyfish and other sea creatures like that. Down here, we have sharks and other fish, like anglerfish, clownfish, lionfish. 
and on the bottom we have reptiles like snakes and turtles and alligators and crocodiles. On this shelf we have birds like the penguin and the toucan. The next two shelves are for wild animals. You can find mammals there of all kinds like skunks and lions. On the bottom shelf you can find books about how to survive in the mountains. Our next shelf is vehicles. You can find aircraft, fire trucks, cars, even rocket ships on this, these shelves. Down here we have more animals, but these are domesticated animals, like dogs and cats and goats and chickens and horses. Next to it we start our how-to shelves. We've got cooking, origami and drawing. We've got music and instruments and even games down at the bottom. Next to that is hand sports like soccer and football, basketball and golf. You can also find poetry like dog coo and other haiku. More poetry on the next shelf, then we go into our joke books and riddles. And then we go into geography and history. You can learn about oceans and ancient civilizations. And next door you can learn about different countries, or our country, even Texas. And on the very bottom is all of our state books. We also have this part of our nonfiction section. On this shelf you can find out about feelings. And then we go into religions and citizenship. And down here we have books about the military. Next door, you can find holidays like Halloween and festivals around the world. Then we go into our fairy tales. All kinds of fairy tales. That's on these shelves as well. And that one too. <laughs> on the bottom shelf, you can find books about languages, like how to speak Spanish or German or French. And we even have ABC books, like the ABC of royalty. You can even find books about sign language and about English grammar, like adjectives and verbs and things. Please turn off this presentation. Please turn off this presentation. Have a great day.